We've just had like the most amazing three days at the, the secret fishing spot, it's called. Um, and we've caught like one, two, three, four, five, six fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There goes a the rock. <laughs> he actually gonna turn around. Hey. Finally, something's defeated me. I took the trailer to stop it. It's been a fairly big day today. Um, leaving the secret fishing spot out on the coast. Motor, pack it all up, pack up tent, load the boat, pack the car up, hook it up, on to the next destination. happened here? Ah, uh, my freaking toe. Stubbed it yesterday, which was all fine, all good and well. Then last night it was throbbing in bed and then this morning, of course, stubbed it again. Bang. Did you, stop, did, did you stub it on all the stuff in your footwell there? Yeah? Funny. <laughs> so this morning we've just come from Nanny's retreat. Um, we're back to where we tried to climb up the rock yesterday, over there. We're just gonna park the car here instead. Surprise, surprise, he's parking the car. Yeah. Apparently it's only 100 meters from that point, so there's probably no point, so we'll just uh, walk it. Need the exercise anyway. Up this way, over to some other gorges. Not that enthused this morning. It's cool, it's windy, like I got jeans on. See that, jeans. Anyway, let's go and check it out. I'm just feeling lazy. I'll get over it. I'll finish my coffee. So this is what I couldn't get up yesterday. We got almost all the way up. And then... Don't stop yourself. This is where the trailer got hung up down here, I think it was. And... So that didn't work. Because at the same time as being hung up down there, my rear tires were all stuck in this loose stuff. The camera probably doesn't do it justice, but it's... So at the same time as the trailer being stuck down there, I was trying to climb this. It is quite steep. And it just wasn't working and I chewed up my tires. And if we had to go through here, I would have just winched. There's a good tree just up there. Would have winched off that, but... Because it wouldn't have taken much, 200 mil in the winch. And it would have had me on top of that, and it would have, I would have dragged the trailer up, no worries. It's just so loose as well, it's so dusty and powdery and rocky and end up doing damage. I should have brought my towel. It's stagnant, there's like no water going in there. Nice bit. Oh well, wow, first walk. Yep. Oh, you did? I tried to wave at your man, the second guy, and he didn't wave, but... Oh, no, they were all very thankful. Oh, they were? Oh, yeah. Sweet. The first guy was like, there's another car coming, I was like, yeah. Back to the homestead. You would think those things would be universal. You'd think so, but this one's obviously not. It's a different type. Does he have an actual funnel or no? No. Nah. It looks a bit busted on it. I'll try it. Do you want to pop the uh, fuel cap? Ah. And just give it a go. Yes. Definitely diesel now on that one. I topped it up myself. Imagine that. Yeah, well, we'll definitely have 40 litres in the tank because we've got over a quarter of a tank left. We should make it. Hopefully, they got fuel at Barlula.
Where's your next? That's the next one. That's the next one. How many times do you think you've refilled my water bottle for me? It's endless. Probably this whole trip. I fill it at least four times a day for you. So, do the math. Hey, come on, sometimes I refill it myself. Uh, I do. I filled yours up this morning and yesterday. Come on. No, you, you filled up mine when I, just, when I drove. I'm just trying to say thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. She's having a little bit of a moment. Right? just had a little bit of a rant because they have these little hazard signs up when there's like a, a washout in the road. Yeah, and like are these little wee triangles. red triangle like this big. With a snowflake in the middle. The snowflake in the air. <laughs> Almost, I don't know what it is. It looks like a snowflake. <laughs> and then all like, so you come over a bit of a rise and then right there, you might be doing only 60 kilometers an hour or something like that. And then there's like this big huge washout. It's just like locking it up. What can you do? We'll show you soon. You can't bloody, you can't drive around at 20 kilometers an hour expecting that. And then the real bad ones don't even have signs. You just gotta predict it. That's right though, it is a rough road. And that's why we came this way to see stuff that. See stuff? See stuff that other people don't <laughs> see. facing the other way. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's nothing on that triangle. <laughs> there there it is, there it is, stop. Show them. Oh, there's a sign. A little snowflake. Oh quick, close the window. This camera is like our third person. I'm like, did you tell the camera? Oh, we came up with a name for the boat, didn't we? <laughs> well, we're gonna go Bart? <laughs> no? Oh, it's gonna be Tintin. No, you really don't remember. Ah. Winnie! Oh, Winnie, that's right. Winnie the Tinny. <laughs> oh, we're on bitumen. Holy smokes. Man's looking for signal. Still nothing. I'm not being Winnie lazy. <laughs> the chips, isn't there stuff in her face? I tell you. <laughs> Most thing in Australia, these don't lock off. And when you want to fuel up like 180 litres, it's yeah, so nice. Right. It's so nice, otherwise you have to sit here holding on to it the whole time. I even had to buy tomato sauce because Leanne didn't put Come on, I need you need to they need to see how much tomato sauce you put in. It's leaked out the bottom. I don't care, like look at this man, get tomato sauce. Yeah, and I like, squeeze so much in there. It's, and like look at it. It's like, all down the bottom. Useless. You say that I get hangry. You are such a got, moody. So oh about. my god. Can I have some entertainment when you're on the road? Entertainment, he says. Oh, yeah. Moody. Well, we didn't get rid of our rubbish. We'll do that while you eat the chips. No, I'm going to pump up the tyres. Well, these chips are going to go cold. Jesus, listen to you getting hangry now. Feel that good. An even amount of dosing. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you on the straight now. Show you how I feel dusty. Need a shower. And food. food. Ooh, lots of concentration driving on those roads. I know. You should let me drive sometimes. You seem quite happy in the passive seat. I am, but I don't mind driving doing, as well. Doing your nails and <laughs> I don't even eating food. You make me out to be like Flat out doing makeup stuff. I don't even have any makeup in the front seat. How cool is the sky? Oh, it's been a cold night. 
I woke up this morning and it was five degrees. Man, still tucked up in bed. You warm? Every time I moved in the night, this little yeah, air. Six came degrees. Walking me up and I'd be like, don't move. And then I was like, maybe I don't have any blankets on. And I'd feel around and then I'd be like, no more air. Don't move. I wish I had a penny for every time I had to stop and land my upper box. <laughs> Luckily this time it fell off just out from camp, like 20 meters. I've already sustained an injury from my box on my end. Um, She's got a scar on her shoulder from it. Now we said Leanne was going to drive but she's decided that I should drive this morning. Well, I'll he's, drive he's later. already cranky enough because it's 9 o'clock and we're not on the road yet. Come on. See? And I'm like, okay, well if I drive I'm a bit more careful and cautious with the box. So it's going to take us ages. So I said, okay. You can drive. I, I quite like driving. I get bored in the passenger seat. And Leanne doesn't mind because she sits there and does her toes and makeup and stuff. <laughs> we have just crossed the border into Queensland and there's no signs. Nothing. I was looking forward to getting a photo of the sign. And it looks the same. Yeah, nothing's changed. Funny that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very, very, very dusty. Not the most ideal place to be broken down. I can't even see if there's that coming.